What it do, my mooches? Good morning. <laughs> it's Travel Tip Tuesdays. Yes. <laughs> and today we're talking about boondocking versus campgrounds. Yes, and we can't tell you which one is better because it depends on what you like best. But we're going to share their differences. Yes. One of the main differences is power. So one of the good things about being on a campground is that you have sure power, which means you don't have to rely on using your generator. Also having sure power gives you access to use your microwave, your your coffee machine, your espresso machine, your, yeah, I know, your AC, but also <laughs> it helps charge the batteries in your RV as well. Absolutely. But when you are boondocking or where you are boondocking, as long as you have your batteries in your RV, everything will be working with the exception of the AC, the microwave, and the outlets. And your espresso machine. Right. Which is connected to an outlet. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want any of these three things to work, you will have to use a generator. Now, be mindful in the place that you're boondocking because they might have some kind of regulation with the noise. So there's something called quiet hours and you are not allowed to use your generator after 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. depending where you are. That's true. Be mindful. And you don't want to run your generator all through the day just to make sure you have power. So that's one of the things that you want to keep in mind. The second thing is location. The beautiful thing about boondocking is that you choose whatever you're allowed to boondock. As you can see, boondocking does present some really good opportunities to camp in places such as this. Get great views, enjoy the mountains. And be by yourself. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about it. And then you can always have a crazy child with you. <laughs> that gives you anxiety attacks when she goes over the cliff. <laughs> She hasn't gone over the cliff yet. <laughs> In my mind, she has. I haven't pushed her yet. <laughs> Getting close to it, though. <laughs> and that's one of the beautiful things about boondocking. You can literally park anywhere in boondock. But again, be mindful of that generator stuff that we talked about. Yeah, absolutely. But it's just beautiful to be able to pick whatever you want to stay at. Yes. And some cities actually allow you to boondock in their streets. That is true. Very true. Now, campgrounds don't give you that many options to be able to sleep on a beach or near a mountain, but you do get the access of meeting other, camp other, other campers. And the campgrounds do have access to the cities. They're normally close to city areas or a beach area. And what are state parks? Our state parks. Yeah, and I would only add to that that sometimes you can find campgrounds in the cities, like in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and other options like right by the beach, but they're kind of pricey. Moving on to the third difference, it's security. Security is obviously very important to everyone, mm -hmm. especially when you're parking your home somewhere. Yeah. Boondocking, when you're out there parking, the thing is that you're exposed to everything. Everyone has access to you. So if you had a rest area, a Walmart, a truck stop, in the middle of the street, middle of nowhere, there's nothing guarding you. It's just your own, you, you, are, you are your own security guard at that point and you gotta be mindful of your surroundings and be protective, you know, because this is your home, you have to protect it. Yeah, and nothing has ever happened to us. I hope I didn't just jinx us. We have been very safe and we have loved all our boondocking locations. When we were in Austin, we had a bus stop right in front of the Walmart that we could just commute to the city very easily, cheap, convenient. But I have looked in my mind most of the time when we were out um, discovering Austin because yes, you're good in a Walmart, but there is no security. security. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's just open and exposed. Yeah, yeah. Now, when you're in a campground, everything changes because you have people there. It's just basically a, a gated community where you know he's in a surrounding area that is a gated community. So you always have someone there. You have other RVers there. And that's one of the things that make it feel a little bit more secure for you, being in a campground or a state park and so forth. So these are the differences that we found with boondocking and campgrounds. But obviously there's other ways to do overnight camping in an RV. And for that, don't forget to check that video with how we spend less than $100 paying rent a month. Oh yeah, that's very true. Yeah. That's a good video to look yeah. at. Definitely should check that out. But yeah, it's really everybody's preference. We can't tell you which one is better because we love both and we decide on which one we're gonna do depending on the area we're in and also the prices of you know, campgrounds and RV parks. So that's some of the variables we face, but that's gonna do it for us guys. Give this video a like if you like boondocking, if you like campgrounds, or if you like both, or if you like Travel Tip Tuesdays, just give it a like. <laughs> Subscribe to travel more, and as always, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. Mamuchas out.